Hello YouTube, this is Danny from Work From Home Tech Solutions. Um, I just recently got done doing a project. I'm going to show you um, six access points, a new router. Um, basically just put it all together for a client of mine. Uh, came in two separate boxes. Um, I have that. I'm just going to do a voiceover as I show you the different clips that I'm doing. Uh, so right here I'm kind of unboxing everything, setting them all. Uh, see what it's all in the packaging. Um, it takes a little time at first, but once you start doing it, then yeah, unboxing is quite quick because you know what to expect. <laughs> and the Linksys uh, 70, 1750s are very light, and then the EC 2600s, those are more hefty. Those uh, This description will be down below. Um, so once I unbox all those, um, I go through and make sure they're all added to the Linksys management portal, the cloud management uh, thing that comes with them. Uh, make sure to document where they're going to go, the naming of them, MAC address, serial numbers, everything else. Uh, and then you can plug them into a PoE or plug them into the power and then go to your Ethernet. Uh, right here I'm labeling what I did on the computer and to keep track of where they are, you know, so if one goes down, I can see what happens or, you know, to troubleshoot that exact one. I don't have to try to play around and see which one it is. Um, I recommend just getting some type of default PoE switch to power them all up. Uh, makes it a lot easier as they don't have to bunch, uh, do a bunch of power strips all over the place. Um, and once you plug them all into the PoE, they should start all blinking. Uh, green, just say they're starting up. Uh, once they're all started up, they should auto-activate once they connect to the internet and see that the configuration in the cloud manager tells them that uh, what their configuration is. <laughs> um, and then you can divvy it up for different VLANs or uh, different SSIDs. But uh, yeah, just contact me at the number or the email below. Uh, 615-722-7169, mainly in the Nashville area. Uh, just hit me up and let me know. Thanks. Make sure to hit the subscribe and like button below uh, so you can get all the latest videos and get notifications when I'm doing another project or if you want uh, your project to be uh, viewed or not. Uh, please contact me. I have the email address, again, like I said, down below and the phone number.